Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name is Ash and today I'm going to show you how we take the art that we generated in the last video in part one and turn it into NFTs that we can buy or sell on marketplaces such as OpenSea. Kind of goes without saying but if you haven't watched part one go back and watch that and then join me back here for part two. So the whole reason we're creating art, we're creating these Morales mutants is that so that people can see them and also buy and sell them. Currently Locally, we're creating the art as PNGs, running it through Morales to IPFS in a bulk upload to a folder. We're then getting the unique identifier of that folder back through um, our script again and generating the metadata which links our art to the metadata including names, rarity of our monsters. And then we're uploading that metadata with the CID back up to IPFS to its own folder. And then we're linking the art to the metadata via the image tag. The script using Morales is so simple that you just have to run it and it takes care of all of this for you. And then what we're going to do today is the smart contract part. We're going to reference our metadata that is linked to our art on chain using the ERC 1155 standard. That then means that once it's on chain, we reach the point at which people can actually see, buy or sell our Morales mutants, our generated art as NFTs. If the thought of coding your own smart contract to create your NFTs feels daunting, don't worry at all. This is going to be the most simple code, the most basic level code you need in order to create an NFT that uh, yeah, anybody can do it and you're going to be able to just follow along with what I'm doing anyway. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. For clarity, so that you can follow along with exactly what I'm doing step by step, I'm going to start off with a new instance of our code base. So if you haven't already cloned down the code base, go to the Git repository in the link down in the description below and clone that down into your local dev environment and add it to your workspace on Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm using, but you can use any code editor. But yeah, Visual Studio Code is recommended. And the first thing I'm gonna do is input my server variables. But what I need to do first is actually go to Morales.io. I'm gonna log in or sign up if I haven't already got an account. And what we're going to do is because we don't want to, we want to test. We want to don't want to we don't want to test in production. So we're going to use a test net from Morales instance. So let's call this uh, mutants. We're going to select London test net. So we're going to be using Polygon's Mumbai test net chain because for NFTs especially, Polygon gives you much lower gas fees than Ethereum. Polygon, if you don't know, it's a commit chain, uses Ethereum and the ERC-1155 standard we can use with Polygon. So add instance. Okay, so now that's deployed, what we're going to do is take our details of our server, click on view details, go back to our code base, and we are going to go to index.js and start inputting our details. So you don't want to share these details with anyone else, but I'm going to be deleting this straight afterwards. So for your X API key, we're going to go to this URL here. That I've just pasted in. This is the URL for the documentation of Morales's API. But you're going to be able to get the API key from there. So if you're not already logged in, you should be able to get your API key from here or run the code, try it out, execute. And then this is your API key here. Paste that in. Then the last one is copy your server URL again. Go to input config.js so this is not an absolute need but paste it in there anyway then you want to make sure that you have navigated to the root folder of your code base and make sure that everything so I already know that everything is configured as I need it to be in order to uh, generate the art so I'm generating the art all over again just for clarity step by step so we're going to type node index.js in the terminal. This is going to run our code. It's going to do everything, including upload our art to the IPFS. And let's just run it and we'll see what we get back in the console. 
So it generates 10 pieces of art, 10 Morales mutants. And then now I'm just waiting for it to upload to IPFS. And then, so these are now uploaded to two folders on IPFS that we can then reference. So that's worked. Also, let's go to our server. So this is the server, the testnet server we're linked to. We'll go to the dashboard. And we've got our metadata saved here. So this is every piece of art that we've generated with unique DNA, its attributes. We've got the link to the images. So let's have a look here. Let's do a test. We've got number, let's do number four. We'll get number four. Have a look on IPFS. We've got number four. This is number four mutant. And then what you can see now is that using the bulk upload method via Morales, this one here, via this Morales API upload folder, you can see that now we're going to have the same CID here, but we can change the ID. So when I change this to number six, we should get mutant number six. There you go. So it's all in the same folder. Now, this is important because we want to have the same CID get referenced in our smart contract. So when we go to our metadata, let's have a look for our metadata. So here we've got our meta hash. So for number four, this is the CID of the folder in which all of the metadata is kept. So we're going to copy that. So this is all just testing that everything's worked at the moment, which it looks like it has. So what we're going to do is paste in here our CID. And instead, we're going to say metadata because that is where our metadata is kept. And then we're going to say, let's say, OK, we're going to go for number six and .json as our extension. And there we go. It gives us the metadata for mutant number six. And then, yeah, this is all the metadata. And it should, this image here, in this image tag in the object, should take us to number six PNG. So now that we've made sure that everything is referenced correctly, it's all hosted on IPFS, we can then reference that IPFS metadata on chain via a smart contract. And I'll show you how to do exactly that right now. The first thing you're going to need is to have MetaMask installed as an extension on your browser. And we're going to add the Polygon Mumbai testnet to our account. And then once you have, you can select Polygon Mumbai and we're going to navigate to a faucet because this isn't actually real Matic, it's testnet Matic. And what you want to do is go to this URL here to a faucet, faucet.polygon.technology and you're going to get Matic token and you're going to select the address of your MetaMask account here. Copy to clipboard. You're going to paste that in. You're going to press submit, confirm, request submitted. And so we should have 3.9, I think. And we're going to use that in order to deploy our contract that I'm going to show you in a moment and also interact with the Polygon testnet, with the Mumbai testnet. We just need some testmatic. And there we go, we've got 3.9. So once we've got our testnet matic, you're going to navigate to remix.ethereum.org. This is an online IDE which allows you to code smart contracts in Solidity as well as test and deploy them. It allows us to do everything we're going to need to do on the Mumbai testnet in order to see our NFT on the testnet version of OpenSea. So navigate to remix.ethereum.org and then you're going to copy this code here that you see on screen which is the most basic code you're going to need in order to test minting your NFTs. So let's briefly go through the code. We've got our version of Solidity, just copy that. We've got imports of the Open Zeppelin contracts, which means that we just don't have to code everything ourselves. We can use their ERC-1155 standard contract, which we then use here. This is where our, our contract begins and ends. This is all you need in order to mint your NFT. We've called it NFT contract, you can call this whatever you like really. We're using the 1155 standard 
in our constructor. This here is really the only bit you need to pay attention to. This is where the magic happens and where you need to paste in your meta hash, the CID that you got from when you uploaded the metadata, the folder in which your metadata is hosted, this is what you want to paste here. And then what that means is that the ID that gets passed in here just corresponds to the ID, the addition of your generated art. So what we're going to do is go to Morales. This is probably the easiest way that you can go and get your CID to your metadata is go to Morales.io to your server instance. We got our meta hash, our CID, and we're going to go back to remix.org. I'm going to paste that in there. So then that means that we're going to be referencing the JSON, our metadata, hosted on our IPFS through this smart contract. And what we're doing here is we are using the ERC 1155 Solidity contract, and it'll have a mint function inside of that. We're just using that mint function to use our account so message sender will be the account in our metamask so when we run this code it will open our metamask and then this is the id that we want to mint and then how many of that id do we want to mint so we've got id one we've got id two and then let's do three as well so we're going to be minting three nfts and we're going to be able to see those on OpenSea, and we're minting one of each of them this is really just a static example to show you the most basic principle of how you can mint one of your pieces of artwork and get it viewable on chain. It allows us to mess around, make mistakes, and it doesn't matter because you know none of this none of this is actual matic and this is all testnet. So we can make mistakes and learn along the way, which is probably the best way to learn. So let's have a look at remix. We've got this tab here which is our files. OpenC underscore NFT dot sol is what I've called this contract. Navigate to the tab below, and then we're going to hit compile our contract. Once the contract successfully compiled, we go to the tab below that. You want to make sure that in this select box, you've got injected Web3 selected. This means that our MetaMask is going to be connected to Remix.org in order for us to deploy this contract to the Mumbai testnet. Make sure that our account is connected. It's not Ether, it's 3.9 Matic, testnet Matic. And then make sure that also the contract is selected. And then we're going to deploy. So it's going to open our MetaMask. We're going to click Confirm. It's going to use some testnet Matic as a gas fee. Transaction confirmed. Our contract was successfully deployed. And then what you're going to do is we're going to put this contract into OpenSea. So we're going to copy the contract link here. And then we're going to navigate to testnets.opensea.io forward slash get listed. And this is where we're going to paste live on a testnet our contract that we've just copied. So you want to select the Mumbai testnet and you're going to paste in your contract address that you've just deployed. Press submit. And it is as simple as that. There we go. We've got our three newly minted Morales Mutants that we can then interact with just as any other NFT. And everything that I've just shown you will work exactly the same on mainnet. So this testnet stuff allows you to make mistakes and then once you've got everything right, you've got everything working as you would like, you can then do exactly the same deploy onto mainnet, whether that be Ethereum or Polygon or any of the other chains that you've got added to your Morales instance. But that is unfortunately all we have time for today in this video. Keep your questions coming, join me in the Morales Discord, in the Morales Forum, bring your feedback, bring your questions because it informs what content I'm going to be creating next. There's lots of questions that I want to get to. Thanks so much for watching, I can't wait to see you in the next one.